just for the last eight years since the bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh has happened. So many issues, so many promises were made in the uh, in the floor of the house by the Prime Minister himself. So many assurances were made through AP Reorganization Act, which the people of Andhra Pradesh for a long time have been looking forward to kab hoga, kab pura hoga, kab karenge Kendra Sarkar. And most importantly, out of these, I want to mention some of them, sir. One is the special status for the state, uh, state of Andhra Pradesh, backward districts funds, and uh, we have Kolavaram and its R&R uh, uh, activity. We have Vishakhapatnam Railway Zone, Vizag Chennai Corridor, lot of educational institutions, steel plant, port and money, other such activities such as building up of capital also so many funds are supposed to come from uh, the central government so that all these assurances all these uh, promises uh, get fulfilled but nothing has happened till now and another shocking revelation that has happened in the last two days that I have observed I was there as an MP in the last term also sir 16th Lok Sabha from YSR Congress party there were eight MPs at that point of time for special status they have resigned also from this house saying that we are fighting for special status. Now the people of Andhra Pradesh have sent 22 MPs to this very house right now so that they will fight for special status. Yesterday there was a person speaking on uh, from YSRCP, today there was another speaking. Not a single mention about special status. This is this is such a shocking revelation that we are finding out today because they have promised to the people of Andhra Pradesh that they are going to fight for special status. They are not even, there is pin drop silence. The most docile MPs I am seeing today is from this party that they are not even fighting for the rights of the state. This is, this is like backstabbing the people of Andhra Pradesh, especially the youth of Andhra Pradesh who they have promised that they are going to give special status. On top of that, I have seen many of the regional parties, MPs, they are all speaking about their government, the chief minister, all the important schemes, the beautiful schemes that their government is doing. When the state is not doing well also, I have all the rights to mention about all the schemes which are not performing well also. Within that authority, I want to speak about some of the issues that the uh, state of Andhra Pradesh is facing, sir. The president's address, it speaks about the empowerment of women. How can we expect empowerment of women when the crimes against women are increasing at a steady pace, at a high, high pace, especially in the state of Andhra Pradesh, 25% rise in the atrocity.